Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 40 of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, Eve still needs to get a boss rush and an Isaac victory, so she will be played as next. Again, I really don't like Eve, but she's not terrible. I mean, I'm pretty sure we can get some decent Eve runs in the grand scheme of things. You know, as long as I don't do that. Nearly put myself in harm's way. Also, we got Curse of the Unknown, so now I cannot see how much health I have. So, the best way to avoid worrying about it is, well, don't take damage at all. Easier said than done, given that you inflict little damage. I never even looked at my seed in the previous run, so I should do that right now. T, 4, F, W, C, R, 90. That's my seed, and that's very shitty damage. Spider butt probably will not help me out that much, but it's there. You know, it's kind of like that useless thing. Like, well, I don't really use it for anything. We'll just leave it there. Okay, pin's not a problem. It didn't really do a lot of damage for me. Oh, come on. Can you at least like, destroy those pots for me before Link shows up? I'll probably use that joke way too many times. Too bad I can't destroy them when there's- Oh, jeez! That was terrible placement on my part. Ooh, thanks for the pennies. It's like, I should not have stood right there if I knew where a pin was. I was just a bit too ambitious when it came to those pots. It ended up costing me some health. Oh, I almost stood on that. Speed up. Okay. Well, now I can move faster, but I can't do damage faster. So, let's move on to the next floor. But I did get an Eternal Heart out of it, so that's going to be very valuable. Give me a little bit of extra longevity, so if I get a deal with the Devil that increases my damage, I'm not taking that much damage. Oh, that was beautiful, but I don't have any keys. I need keys. Come on, I had a lot of keys in the previous run. Missing page, really? And now I'm just not getting any. I mean, Spiderbot is good for rooms with a lot of enemies. You clear them out fast. This Tin and Rock could have a key for me. Or money. I can buy a key, but then I need a key to buy a key. Yo, dog! I heard you got key problems, so I got you some key problems for your key problems. So, yeah, never mind. I don't know how I can make that into a segue. Again, no money. What the frack? Oh, I know bombs as well. I got like ten cents. I should just use this. I was hoping you would just use it right next to that tinted rock, but thanks, mom. I'll kill you later. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, this could take a while. You did it! We'll take the soul hearts. We'll take the HP upgrade. We can really leverage this. Ooh, death sides? We never picked up this item before. We gotta do it. Death's touch. Penetrative shot, and you get extra damage. Now instead of shooting tears, I shoot sides! Oh! Wow! That is... That's gonna be interesting. Oh, I can't get that. Maybe I wouldn't even want to. Okay, now you're just patronizing me, game. I don't have bombs, I don't have keys. Oh, wow. I'm gonna miss out on that item room and the shop. That's gonna be real shitty. Maybe I can find something in this poop to salvage this. I know I'm not going to find keys, but still. Well, why did I skip over that? I was clearly walking right on it when the trap door was open. Okay, mob trap room could be good for me. Or not. Where's my damage? Okay, my damage went up one level. Not great, but at least I got piercing shot. And it seems like the damage radius is a little bit wider. And 
In other words, I got larger attacks. That means these guys won't be a problem, given I can just shoot at the ones behind me, or behind them. Damage is still not great, it could be better. But, if we find some items that can augment it, then we're sitting pretty. We just need to find some bombs and keys, though. I left I never find any for the rest of the game. Or I can have my dreams die internally. That's a thing, too. Well, there's our key. A floor too late, though. Watch, now we get a very shitty item in this room. And it's gonna be... Butt bombs? Well, it gives me extra bombs anyway. But I don't really feel good about that item as a whole. It could help in certain bosses, but still. It doesn't really give me extra damage or the ability to fly. There was no way I could have avoided that. Come on. You gave me that narrow a corridor and expect me to move? I can't really fly, you know. Oh, jeez, that was close. Alright, what's this pill? Bad trip? Now you're just making it worse. Remember, Death's Touch will allow me to hit all parts of Chubb. Oh, jeez, she's recovered from that quickly. I'm trying to get rid of as many Silkworms as possible. I don't want to use any of these bombs. I only got five of them. By way of the Butt Bombs. Butt Bombs just sounds like the name of a condition you get. If you're just taking shots of Sriracha straight up, it's like, you feeling all right, man? No way, man, I got the butt bombs. Oh, man, that shit hurts. It even hurts to say. It's like, butt bombs? Ouch. Ladder? No. I don't want any of these items. I'll take the key, though. You know what? I'll take that soul heart as well. Ladder could be okay. It is an underrated item. I, I will say that much. But, I mean, it's only limited to how good it is. I think I should just go to the next floor, even though I should be doing my due diligence to find more consumables. Given that I'm very low on them. Can't go to the boss trap room because I did get one extra red heart out of this. So I still have red hearts, even though I did get Death's Touch. Which goes to show, like, how lucky I've been with the item drops. Okay, Spider Butt and Death's Charge kind of work well together. Not the best, but it's something. Range feels a still a little bit limited. Whoa, whoa, that was close. Yeah, I kind of want to just use Spider Butt as much as possible just to mitigate some of these rooms. There we go. Yep, this is actually pretty good. I like this. That's another bad trip pill. But it's only good in certain sit. Oh my god. It's only good in. Nope, nope, don't take that damage. Not from a champion. Yeah, let's go to our boss right away. Yeah, it's the Wretched. I will wait until she starts spawning enemies. Like, a lot of them. Like right now, for instance. I should have waited until I split them up. I need a little bit more damage to make this work. When we get to later floors, it's gonna get real bad. I don't mind the wretched. I find the wretched a, a bit easy. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Man, just lunge right there at that very moment. That's why I hate the spider so much. So I miss out on a deal with the devil because of that stupid damage. But I don't want to miss out on a good item. Because that could save me. It might now might be all I have in this world. Oh, super gluttony! 
Give me a little bit of extra health. That's good, too. Oh, why did I walk right into that? There's no excuse. I'm sorry. Oh, I see a tinted rock right over there to the southeast. Did not give me an HP upgrade. That's very disappointing. I do get a soul heart and a key. So now I feel a little bit better about my chances. In the short term. Not in the long term, though. Long term is still pretty fucked at this point. But stranger things have happened. I was hoping you'd one-shot these. Well, now I pretty much can with the sides. It doesn't pierce through the mushrooms, though. Okay, well, there's our item room. We really need to clear these out right now. Even though those green guys could be useful for, like, destroying mushrooms for me. Oh, that's another bad trip pill, isn't it? Yeah. Really? Really? That's all you're going to give me? Just ten extra bombs? Okay. Yeah. Let's just go. Can I bomb my way into the... No, I can't bomb through it that way. Or that way. So there's no going to the boss trap room. At least I got a lot of bombs. That's the only good thing about all this. And I know greed was not in the shop, but money is not looking so good. Even though I should have been looking for the secret room. Curse of the Blind, now I don't even know what item I'm going to get. At least trinkets are not question marks. Because, you know, ooh, this trinket, I wonder what it could be. Oh, it's the tick. Fuck. Well, a tick is not awful. It just means you can't pick up any other trinket unless you get Mom's purse. But it does do, like, some damage to enemies autom or bosses automatically before you start. That's the only good advantage about the tick. Otherwise, you're, you're pretty much stuck with it. Uh, that was scary. I'm not gonna lie. Our item room contains... What's this? Charm of the... Vampire, really? That's not great. At all. Kind of giving me just some throwaway items here. Give me a break. Okay, what is my goal here? Well, obviously to get to the boss rush. That's the typical goal here. I also... Yeah, I think we want to get to Isaac again. Remember, we're still trying to complete the Polaroid. I feel like we're almost there. We just need a couple more Isaac victories our way to make that work. Don't know if we're going to get much of one with this kind of setup. We just need a lot more. To make it happen. Wow, there's our first penny in what a long time. Ooh. There, I think that was well worth it, just to clear it up a bit. Oh! God, I hate when they bump into something so the angles get a little thrown off. Because that can really make things a little weird. Kind of wish I had spider butt for this. Oh my god, close range damage. Come on, dead bird. Okay, that extra soul heart is going to be very valuable. I'm to the point where, like, anything will work for me. Like, when you get to that point, it kind of feels hopeless already. But a lot of it is my own fault. Like, just trying to rush through things a little too recklessly. Okay, Mask of Infamy is going to be pretty good in this situation. Because I guess I can just aim the sides and I will hit the heart. Or hit the mask automatically. Nothing to do with that Jim Carrey movie with Cameron Diaz. Yep, okay, the sides go through the mask. That's good. That means I don't have to be behind it. It's taking a long time, though. Yeah, so let's use Spider-Butt. Keep my distance, though, because that can wear her off at a moment's notice. Oh, man. Oh! 
that hurts. Got the HP upgrade, though. I gotta take a chance. Eh, it's Guppy's collar, so it gets me closer to being Guppy. But does it pay the bills? Oh, it's gonna have to pay my medical bills at this point. Because I am not feeling solid. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, the farting doesn't hurt you. That's good. It's only just knockback. That does not help. Oh, wait, I see a tenant rock right there, so I'll go back for it. That's a champion version, isn't it? Yep, it was. Okay, just one of them is not a problem. It's when you have to deal with two in a room where you can't maneuver as much that it gets dicey. Sure, I'll place it right here for some reason. Just one lone soul heart. Okay. I do have Charm of the Vampires, so, like, the more kills I get, the more health I'm gonna get. Not a lot, but still. Ooh, goat head. I do like goat head. I mean, it doesn't really have much of a disadvantage. I don't know if it ensures that you never get deal with the angel chances ever again. If so, that might be disappointing if you are trying to get some Mega Satan victories. Because then you gotta hope you find Dad's key. And you may not always get it. But you may not always get an angel room either, even if you did refuse some deals with the devil. Oh god. Oh god! This is a bad room. There's just too much shit on the go at once. But this item room and shop could be really good. They just have to be good for me. Sure. We'll do it. Well, there's our secret room, and it's... Oh, it was just right next to the item room. We, we kind of like got to roll with the punches here. We got no choice at this point. Uh, deck of cards isn't exactly a good item, and neither is the ladder. Showed up again. Good thing I did not take damage from that spider. So we'll just donate the rest of this money. We didn't get much our going our way in terms of money either. That sucks. They give an already weak character even weaker chances. That's why Eve runs can be so an oh so annoying. Dead bird, you can almost screw me here. Okay, this pill better be good. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it! Just hit that thing, will ya? I, I still gotta remember, like, Dr. Fetus is pretty weak. Oh my god. I got penetrative bombs! Oh no! I'm gonna have to use real ones. Oh dear. I think I created a monster getting Death's Touch and a uh, Dr. Fetus. Because the bombs themselves don't do damage unless they explode. Oh dear. This could be real bad. I mean, look! They just go through enemies now, but they don't hurt. Flies are gonna be even worse. Oh no. Oh, this could be real annoying. I think I created a really bad run here. Note to self, if you have like a death's touch, or Cupid's arrow, like anything that can penetrate. Don't get Dr. Fetus. This happens when you do. Not to mention, it's not that great of damage. Remote detonator and Dr. Fetus is good. Because then you can just blow it up whenever you want. But here, oh my god, this is so shitty. 
Well, Isaac is a learning curve after all. It's more fun to learn than, say, Smash Bros. Even though I love Smash Bros. I'd rather play it rather than learn it. I'm one of these guys that if you play against me in Smash Bros, I will turn on items and use pretty much any janky kind of level. Some people go, oh, we won't go to big battlefield, no items, okay. Fox only, alright? Everyone say that's gonna be Final Destination, but Big Battlefield, or just Battlefield, is a little bit more neutral than Final Destination. Or, you know, just, we'll go to any kind of level, we'll do the Omega courses. Or just like a flat terrain. You have to use a butt boss for like the smaller enemies. Because at least it'll daze them or kill them instantly. I feel like I created an even more unwinnable situation here. I may miss out on the boss rush, and I got here like with plenty of time. That's how bad it is. I'm gonna have to ignore the enemies for on purpose. Oh, dead bird. Okay, go over there! Dead bird! Save me! Well, try to get the boss rush at least. Get another unlockable. Oh, great. I could pretty much die here. That's a good use. Dead bird can just channel me some extra health. Oh my god, we won! It took a million years, but... We got through. Might as well see what's... Oh, no. That boss rush room is going to close, isn't it? It just gets from bad to worse for me. It really does. Okay, that was good. Krampus' head is really good. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Okay. We made it! I certainly don't want to use rubber cement. Um, sure, we'll take Spoonbender. Might have been a bit too early to use, though. Oh my god, my bombs are purple! But at least they home in on enemies. Fast enemies are still going to be unaffected by it, unless they're right in the blast. But at least now they curve a little bit closer to a, a boss. What happens if Guppy's Collar revives me and all this time is up? Am I just kicked out of the boss rush room for good? I don't know. The thought of that kind of scares me. Oh, it's regular carry on Queen. The one that poops. Too many poops. <laughs> Too many poops. This could get real nasty. Oh, there we go. I think that's our first bit of... Oh, the spider. I had to use regular bombs to try to damage this boss. Oh god, all the poop is right over here in that corner! That seems kinda cleanly that you're just gonna isolate it all in one spot. Still annoying, though. You know, if we just get a boss rush victory, I'm okay with that. It's not a lot, that means I'm gonna have to play Z more often, but still. It's something. I kind of got the shitty end of the stick when it came to items, though. And all, like, very bad luck. If I had just stuck with Death's Touch rather than take Dr. Fetus... It's like, every time I see a fetus on him, I keep thinking, I gotta get it, I gotta get it. And then I realize, you know, fetus in a jar... is bad! Like, yeah, it's destructive damage! But it's more destructive to me 
than it is to them. Now take into account that my bombs don't get stopped when they make contact. They just keep going their natural path. Fucks me even deeper. Like, it literally does. I don't know. We may not have a chance of getting through this. Especially when you take dumb damage like that. But Spoonbender is pretty much the only good saving grace out of those items. And yeah, rubber cement, it'll just bounce off the walls. I mean, t Doctor's Remote, I can only use once. And, you know, Kramps' head is much better than that. Holy Water, I mean, it's just bad overall. You don't need me an expert to explain that. So I had to go with the lesser of four evils, and it was Spoonbender. But I like Spoonbender. And I like regular Bender. I don't like going on Benders. But still. Oh, there's another Soul Heart. Get it. Oh, yeah, but you can't pass through poop. You can pierce enemies, but you can't pierce poop. Wow. Look at that. Poop blocks my shots. What a world we live in. Oh, nice rebound there. Okay, now we got Monstro and Chad. I only got 13 bombs though, so I better use them wisely. But since I've already taken damage, like, almost immediately, Dead Bird is pretty much out there immediately. It's good. There's not much in the way of keeping me alive here, unfortunately. So this is pretty much a throw at this point. I wonder if some of you already thought, yeah, he's gonna take it, he's gonna take it. Because maybe some of you already knew this was a bad synergy. And surely enough, it is. A really bad synergy. Oh, man, I hate these Gertie shots, because you think you can just weave through them and you can't. Well, you can, but you get very unlucky trying to do so. Come on, at least get this. No, thank you. Maybe because those shots are in the air that you don't telegraph where they actually are. Oh, almost walked into that bomb like an idiot. Well, this is going to be the worst wave here. I'm going to have to utilize my bombs in a big way. Good, I got them both with it. Good, because the more I'm doing that, the better my chances. Oh, I should have avoided that. Come on, get one of them dead. This is going to take way too long. I'll be lucky to make it to the cathedral at this point. But we got to try. Dumb damage on my part. Monster 2 is finally dead. And we've been ignoring Gish for too long. I'm down only five bombs. This is bad. It's pretty much my biggest damage output. Okay, it almost got away from me. Okay. I think we're going to be alright. We're going to clear the boss rush. I kind of feel more confident we're going to do that now. You know, we, we got plenty of red hearts, well, only two. And we got a soul heart to back us up. And we might get another one throughout the rest of the way. At least I'm hoping we do. We don't. I mean, that would suck real bad. I've been doing enough sucking as is. In this run, not in real life. 
don't get the wrong idea. Oh, there's a penny over there, but it doesn't really help. Dead bird is good for like taking out those flies. Because I don't really have much else to back me up in that. Okay. This could get real nasty. Yep. Took some dumb damage. Oh man, even more dumb damage. Oh wow! Invincibility time wore off right on the brimstone laser. Wow, Spoonbender just homes the bombs as well. So I noticed butt bombs just close right in on the bloat. Okay, I still haven't even taken out that heart yet. Let's do that. Right. Oh, whoa! It almost homed right into me! What up with that? Any day now, you can die. Thank you. Okay, only three waves left. We're gonna do it. It's gonna be a war of attrition, though. But, we're gonna make it happen. Ah, oh, damn. Oh my god, I forgot about that creep there. Get the health, don't die. Oh god, more flies. Is there any hearts? Oh yeah, right on the spikes. Oh yeah, I think I just... You know what? We can get it. This is why you have Dead Bird. She's pretty much my fly protector. Okay, we gotta go for death first. Sides are a bigger problem than war itself. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, and I don't get revived. Thanks. Wait, I have half a red heart! Wait, I still have health! Yes, Charm of the Vampire kicked in, like, after I died, but... Wow! I don't know how I feel about that at all. Oh, man. That was pretty much a fucked run altogether, I will say. But at least we learned some new things. A, I suck as Eve, and B, don't pick up any piercing items with Dr. Fetus, because it makes things worse. Only pick up Dr. Fetus if you already have Mr. Mega. I really should have been learning this lesson a long time ago, but I my hubris just gets in the way, and I'm thinking, oh, I gotta take this, I gotta take this. No. I gotta leave some things behind. I would have finished this a lot faster if I still had the sides, but what are you gonna do? Anyways, in the next episode, we're just going to have another run. Hopefully a winning run. See you, everybody. Thanks for watching.